What's good, y'all? Welcome to my review of this week's episode of Dragon Ball Super. Finally! Finally! We are at the start of the Goku Black Arc. After sitting through five episodes of filler garbage, we are we have fi we are fi yeah, we have finally arrived to my most anticipated arc. In Dragon Ball Super, ever since the dub was announced, the Goku Black R. Now, yes, I am also high up to see the Universal Survival R, to see, you know, Jiren versus Goku, Ultra Instincts Goku. Um, seeing, of course, uh, I guess, spoiler alert, uh, my spoiler for some characters returning, um, for the return of Android 17 and Frieza again. But none of that has me as hype as Goku Black. Most of us, Future Trunks is also one of my favorite characters in Dragon Ball. He's probably like my top three. Um, and I really love Goku Black, just that knowing, I've seen clips of Goku Black, I'm like, I want to know more, and it looks great, and I'm so hyped to finally, you know, see this in live, to finally see this, and as you guys know, you dose new footage, yeah, um, so yeah, for the next few reviews, I'm going to be using all my, um, beta footage I had from Dragon Ball Fighter Z in these reviews, and I'll swap back to see the once I get through it all, so let's begin. So he starts episode off with our man, Future Trunks, now rocking blue hair instead of gray. I also prefer the blue hair over the gray hair he had in DBZ. Um, he's pretty much, you know, what, pretty much just running, just, you know, sneaking around, making sure Goku Black ain't anywhere, and running back to his mother, um, her hideout, I guess you can call her lab, where she is making this... I don't know what what the hell this shit is called. It's stuff to make it to, that have that helps that makes trunks good time travels. And you know she's like, here, this is all we got. It's enough for only one. It's enough for a one way trip. But there's a one. There's a way to get back out. There's a way to to be sent back. That's um that's kind of risky. So, you know, he's all like, oh, mom, you should go get some sleep. You have been working yourself to the bone this whole time. Go get some sleep. Like, nah, nah, nah. I can rest when I'm, de when I'm dead. <laughs> Which he did. I'm just paraphrasing right now. Um, so then, um, some, so then, some expl so then the lab explodes or, or um, equipment is gone. Um, then some, then smoke starts getting out this door, and Balma looks over her, and she notices that where the smoke is coming out of the door, and she tells, you know, Trunks, get the fuck out of here. Um, so she gives him it, and then Goku Black gets her and kills her, and then we get back to the modern day. Uh, modern day portions with, you know, um, Goku, regular, normal Goku, not Goku Black. Um... And he's pretty much, you know, and then she, she's being bitchy cheechy like always, trying shoving books up a Goten's ass. Um, and he, like, you know, he actually, because we see throughout this series that Goku has been, you know, plowing the fields. He's been, like, trying to be a farmer. Well, now he finally, you know, had a whole, like, you know, a field of lettuce, and he's going to be taking, and he's going to be harvesting them along with Piccolo. And it's like a little word guy because Master Roshi had him and Krillin do this kind of medial labor before in, uh, in I'm guessing, in the original Dragon Ball. Which, by the way, guys, so this whole episode, the art animation looked a little off in place. I don't know if that was just me, but it did look a little off in place, the art animation did. Um, but besides that, <laughs> so, you know, they're plowing the fields, they're plowing, they're getting, and Pickles are, oh, wow, this is actually giving me a good workout. Ugh. So they get to there, so, so, yeah, then, um, Krillin shows up, he's telling them Goku, you know, hey, you know, Vegeta's with, with, is with, um, uh, uh, Whis, you know, training again. He's like, oh, come on, they, they just, it's a transmission over there, and then, so that, you know, and Vegeta's training with a Whis, he's not laying any hits, he goes Super Saiyan Blue, charges that Whis, Goku, like, that's when Joku tells you, runs into Goku, and then, uh, Beerus shows up. And he gives him, he, and he offers a list, it's like a peace offering for him to show up on Beerus' world. He likes less, but as a peace offering from a mere mortal, it's, it's, it's less than desirable. <laughs> and so, um, so yeah, then he, then, uh, Whis and Beerus kind of explain, you know, uh, Grand Zeno, like how he's very powerful, he can destroy universes, and the belief that there used to be 18 universes instead of the, the 12 we have right now, while they're eating some big-ass bowls of ramen. And then these and that so that's why me and Shampa were scared shitless when you were talking. They were sweating like and they were sweat buckets. So then we get back to the Goku Black arc, the arc that we all that, that I I wish the whole episode was just on the Goku Blacks because I couldn't care less about what's happening right now. I just want to see Goku Black in trunks. Anyway, so we get back there and Trunks makes his way to I'm guessing it's his girlfriend. Judging I'm guessing it's his girlfriend, Maya. 
And, you know, they're from, you know, hey, you know, shows her, you know, the stuff. And then they kind of just sit back for a little bit, eat. Uh, they got a cat, which actually really reminds me of the cat that was in uh, Kiki's Delivery. So this guy looks a little similar to him. Or maybe it was Sailor Moon. It was one of those two cats that looked similar to one of those. Well, I'm pretty sure actually Toei actually did uh, um, Sailor Moon. So that might be a little low-key little reference to Sailor Moon. Anyway. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, he, she gives him, like, this, like, can of meat, Trunks eats half of it, and then gives the rest of Maya, and then, you know, she t- and he asks, like, hey, is the cat gonna be a fuck, hey, is the cat gonna be okay without us? He's like, oh, yeah, cats and silver lives, they forget their master in three days. Uh, so, yeah, they pretty much make their leave, they make their way to the capsule corp bill, once I'm guessing is where the time machine is. So then Trunks gets, so Trunks gets over there. Uh, so and that's when our man Goku Black shows up. Like a tornado starts forming, lightning is striking around it, and then they get into their fight. They're fighting. They get ready to fight. She's rocking a, a Maya's rocking a shotgun. Trunks is rocking his, of course, his reliable sword. So they so they run at him. Doesn't really do much damage. Um, he tells, he gives the thing to Maya, and then Maya, once Trunks gets down to Maya, gives him back the, um, the, 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 the stuff, I don't know what it's called. The stuff, tells him, hey, you're the one that needs to go back, you're the best reliance, so just let me take care of Goku Black. Which she ends up dying, and Trunks like, you killed her, and then the smoke clears from him, and we see Goku Black in all of his glory, and his voice, oh! It is an orgasm to the ears. Oh, Sean Simmel did a fantastic job with Goku Black Voice. I asked Emmanuel what he thought of it, and he said it actually was real, it was reminiscent of Super Saiyan 4. And actually, Chris Sabbath said this on Twitter, if I can uh, find the tweet. Okay, found. He said, for the record, um, quote, for the record, the Goku Black Voice you heard tonight what isn't a fix. It is the result of actually knowing who the character is. We knew nothing about when we were recording this game. I'm, I'm guessing he's referring to Xenoverse 2. Um, at Sean Shibble and I were playing this voice for a very long time. Hashtag Dragon Ball Super. Now, from what I'm, now I did heard, uh, now I, there was a massive controversy surrounding his Goku Black voice in Universe 2, where, like, it sounded like it was kind of off birth, and I have seen the sub voice. I also really do like the Japanese voice for Goku Black, although it's still, you know, the Japanese voice as for Goku, so it's, it's like, it, it, it sounds good, but it's still her. Um, no disrespect to her, but I'm just not really a fan of her voice. It might just be because I'm so used to dub. Anyway, um, so yeah. Uh, I said that I heard the voice. I really did enjoy the voice, but I definitely like this a lot more. And I don't know what it means. Like we knew nothing about it. I'm guessing because either he had like there was like no context for the clips that they were doing for the Goku Black arc in Xenoverse 2. Because um, remember, guys, I remember that actually the Goku Black arc wasn't even um, like Super wasn't even available for legal streaming for the longest time until like I think what what the tail end of the of the. Uh, Black arc or around the start of the universe survival arc because Toei for some reason was keeping it hostage because you know they're, because of their all because I'm like yeah I guess streaming it anyway uh yeah besides that uh yeah I don't really know what he means by it, but yeah so overall my final verse episode is a 10 out of 10 so hyped to see more of this arc Goku Black's gonna be hype so hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did subscribe if you're new follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you feel like it links in the description box below and as always come back for more see you guys next time